YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. Today I'm going to be talking about Funko's new announcement of their next NFT project, the Big Boy Collection. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about, a little bit about what we know about it so far, give you my thoughts and what I'm going to be doing uh, with this information I'll, I'll be purchasing for myself. So let's get right into it, see what we got. Here we go. Listen. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, hit subscribe button down below as well, so you updates on the most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So I just want to talk about the new Funko NFT announcement that they dropped today, which was the announcement of the Big Boy Collection. So before we get into that, just a little brief uh, you know, synopsis and overview of NFTs. Uh, NFTs are what stands for non-fungible tokens. They are digital uh, collectibles, digital art, however you want to perceive them. And they trade on a crypto uh, platform. In this case, it's the WAX uh, cryptocurrency is what they run on. So before we get into it, I just wanted to reiterate, as always, uh, this is not a financial channel. It's not financial advice. I merely like to talk about things that deal with finance that is associated with Funko Pops. If you want financial advice, seek a license. <laughs> approve uh, financial advice and not a guy who has a bunch of bobblehead toys in his room and uh, I just want to kind of reiterate that point because I see a lot of other bigger YouTube channels talking about this calling it a scam and such um, you know but just be careful who you uh, you know you listen to myself included I think anybody calling this a scam NFTs is a, a very short-sighted and misinformed um, you know opinion just because we're so early in this space you know it's like hearing like old people back in the days talk about the internet or cell phones things like that um you know it's just so weird to me seeing that opinion from people in a hobby where the things we collect only have value because we say they're valuable you know anybody outside of the funko community finds everything in here worthless the grails we have are considered worthless to anybody that doesn't appreciate them and if you are not familiar with the NFT space, um, it doesn't really, um, you know, bode well to have an opinion because a lot of people who are in this space, the NFT space, I follow a lot of other projects, like I said, and people who are in this hobby, as far as NFT is concerned, are extremely, extremely passionate. So I do feel like this thing is here long term to stay because the people in the community that's been built around this. Uh, NFT space are very passionate about it. It's not fake and uh, they really believe in it. So I think that this has uh, a lot of potential. And just like I said, make sure you uh, are careful who you listen to. Always in life, hear both sides of the coin and form your own opinion. And just remember a lot of people calling this a scam. Um, NFTs are scam. Or the same people said Dogecoin was a good investment because Elon Musk was gonna make it go up on Saturday Night Live. So that's my piece on that. Take it for what it is, but let's get right into the topic at hand, the Big Boy Collection. So my initial thoughts about the Big Boy Collection is I hate the idea, but I like the artwork. So what I mean by that is I'm at the point now where I'm gotten tired of seeing the CEO or creative team's uh, ideas being pushed on us. With Big Boy, Scott Pilgrim, Huckleberry Hound, the same old, same old. It's just weird to me, like if I was the head of the company i don't think i'll be pushing space jam on you guys as much as he pushes on uh you know his things he likes but so be it we knew eventually this was going to happen we know we're going to get scott pilgrim one um, but i just thought it was weird that this was the second thing that we got was big boy um, i had to actually look up big boy restaurants before um, i started doing this video because i'm an east coast guy i've been the east coast guy my whole life i've never ever seen or been inside a big boy restaurant ever in my life and the first thing you see when you Google Big Boy Restaurant is the question, are Big Boy restaurants still around? So this is my problem with Funko a lot is who are they making this for? Um, you know, sometimes it's a kid company, sometimes it's a nostalgic company for 90s kids, and sometimes it's for older people and that. So I don't know where Big Boy lands in the hip NFT space, but here we are now. So let's react right to that. So like I said, I hate the idea, but I think the artwork they've done is pretty dope. And that's why I think personally, I'm going to be buying some. Um, now, if you go, I'll try to put pictures up here if I can find them. So you have them dropping on August 31st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do believe these will sell out. Um, the reason being is I am part of other groups, you know, uh, NFT groups, 
uh, sneaker groups, Pokemon groups, trading card, whatever it may be. And little do you guys know, maybe you do know, is a lot of people in those groups, especially the ones that like to flip things, are flipping Funko products. And especially the ones that the Funko community does not think are good. On um, the box of fun, there's a lot of people outside the Funko community that got those, and a lot of people that are flipping those. So same that happened with the Ninja Turtles NFTs, same that thing's going to happen with this. A lot of people are going to try the bodies up and flip them the same way they flipped the Ninja Turtles. But I don't think these are gonna have as strong as a secondary market as the Ninja Turtles ones did, because again, it's big boy. It's not as big of a following for big boys Ninja Turtles is. So I do think it's gonna sell out initially, so my advice is to definitely be patient. I, I think on this one, you can be a little bit more patient than Ninja Turtle ones. The Ninja Turtle ones did skyrocket and they come came down a little bit and have leveled off a little bit, which is good. And I think the same thing's gonna happen for uh, the big boy stuff. So if you want something, I definitely think it's worth uh, waiting um, it out to get the price that you guys want. So like I said, I think the artwork's pretty cool. Um, they didn't go the same route they did with the Ninja Turtles where they all made uh, Funko Pop figures for the NFTs. A lot of these have the, um, the like old bobblehead looks or different designs in general. So uh, they did kind of up the, to the chances of getting some of the stuff. I think the com I think every single uh, chance to win a uh, certain rarity did go up or down. Um, I know the Grail one up went up to 0.67% chance. I think it was 0.5 before. Um, so there's a little bit more chance of getting that. The Legendary is at 1% now. Epic is 6%. Rare at 16%, Uncommon at 30 and then Common is 46.33%. So I did like the Uncommon artwork we have so far for the actual restaurant one. I think that's pretty cool that they're going in the direction of not having just Funko Pops, uh, but still having, you know, Funko style uh, NFTs and then also using some of the bobbleheads they've had in the past. I do like that idea. I think it makes it a little bit different, a little bit more artistic for people that aren't just into Funko Pops. They can kind of get around um, just you know, whatever the uh, property is, and such as Big Boy in this case, and then whatever they do in the future. So I, I do like the artwork. Um, I do not like it all, if you saw my Instagram, the legendary burger. I think that one looks terrible. Um, this one is actually one of the physical redemptions. So if anybody's interested in picking this one up, the, uh, the uh, acquisition of this pop or this NFT is going to allow you to get a physical pop. Um, I think you're gonna have to hold it for 120 days, like the last one, like the Ninja Turtles. And on that 121st day, I believe, they deposit a redemption token into your account and you're able to redeem it for a physical Funko Pop. So if you do get it, you have to hold it until you get that physical redemption and it goes to the owner of that NFT at the time. So definitely be careful um, and don't buy it on the 122nd day because that person may have already redeemed it. But I don't like the burger one because I'm not a fan like the foodies line and it reminds me of that. Um, but I'm sure that we're going to get more um, more NFT um, choices given over the next couple of days. And as I see them, I'll either post them on here or on Instagram. So definitely stay tuned for that. But like I said, the ones I've seen so far are cool. The Grail one's not too bad. I don't know what like version of Big Boy this is, but it's not a horrible looking one. Looks like he's holding a, a cheeseburger on his hand. Looks like he's, he's fat, like a baby one. It's okay. I mean, if you're a big boy fan, it's not bad. And I gotta say, a lot of the big boy pops tend to do well over time. So I, I think this one's gonna be sought after even later down the line because um, for whatever reason, big boy does have a big following in the Funko space. So um, I, I don't I don't hate the idea. Well, I do hate the idea. I don't hate the, uh, the NFTs, the art that they put behind it. And I, I think they'll do well long-term. Um, it's our first ad icon one that we're getting. Hopefully moving forward, we get a little bit more uh, projects that appeal to the masses like Ninja Turtles did. They kind of teased on the Twitter that we're doing a Batman one and then we got this. So maybe we'll get a Batman one soon. And I think that one will be absolutely crazy. But for a company to introduce NFTs to a audience that is not behind them at all. They don't understand them that much. Um, they're not into not having physical uh, Funko Pops. Um, I don't think Big Boy was the best choice by Funko to make for your second NFT uh, announcement. Had it been the Batman one or something more popular, I think you'd get more people on board. So I think they kind of fumbled the bag in this case. Um, it's gonna sell out, so they're not gonna miss out on any money. But I think if less they capitalize on the third one, um, the momentum for NFTs with the Funko community at least, I think it's gonna a little it's gonna fizzle out. So that's my thoughts. Again, I'm gonna be buying some. More than likely, I'll be buying 
um, the individual ones. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing right now instead of buying the packs and hoping to get lucky. I've just been buying the ones I want, so, uh, the ones I think are cool artwork. And that's kind of what I think you have to do with everything is buy what you like. Um, buy the ones you think are cool for the Ninja Turtles. I've been buying the ones I find cool. The same I'm going to be doing with this. And I just think long term, you're on the ground floor or something. Um, you know, it's not much money to spend. It's a lot of upside. The people who don't choose to be part of it, the only option they have and only outcome they have is to miss out. Either they miss out on losing money or they miss out on winning money. And if you're involved, you at least have two different options. Uh, you can, you know, lose a little bit of money or you can make a lot of money. And that's the way I look at things is the risk reward uh, ratio. And if the reward is bigger than the risk, I like to be involved because that cost is too high to me. So that's my thoughts. I'm going to be getting involved in this project as well and just buying the ones I like. Let me know what you guys think of this collection and what you're going to be doing for yourself. And just let me know your opinion on NFTs in general because I know it's very new. A lot of people are on the fence about it. Um, I don't uh, intend to be, uh, you know, the face of Funko NFTs. I just like to give you guys my opinion on financial things. I find this very, very interesting. And I just want to kind of give you guys uh, at least a contrarian view because a lot of people are bashing this. I just want you to look at it from a different perspective and wherever that lands for you, it lands for you. So that's all I have you guys today. As always, make sure you hit the like button if you've not already. Subscribe if you're new. Check me out on my Instagram at ThePopSavage. You can stay connected there too. And also my second channel at Savage Breaks where I do Pokemon sport card openings. Thanks again for watching guys. And until next time, I'll see you later.